I don't want to waste your time with this video. I will teach you right away. The most important thing about meditation is that you have a competition with yourself. You see, I always wanted to increase the time of mindfulness during meditation. If you meditate, if you meditate 30 minutes, there will be a certain amount of time you spend fully mindful and there will also be a, then an amount of time that has been spent thinking about things, right? being lost in thought and then recovering from that. And I always wanted to know this. I always wanted to know how much time am I actually spending meditating, right? How much time am I spending being mindful? Because that's the time that really brings you forward. The time of meditation that brings you forward is being mindful and then coming back to mindfulness. The part that doesn't bring you forward is the part where you are lost in thought, which will come like without any doubt. You will be lost in thought during your meditation. It's like failure in the gym. You will have to train to failure in the gym to experience any gains at all. If you don't train to failure, how can you expect to make any gains? And if you aren't distracted during meditation and coming back from it, how can you expect to get better at meditation? And I just found a new way to get better at meditation even more. And let me just alter your thought process a little bit. How do we think in terms of gym? We think, how many reps, how many sets do I do? We think in numbers of things we do. How do we see eating? How many meals do I eat a day? Um, how much am I eating of this? How much am I eating of this? How much protein? How much carbs? How much sugar? Then, how do we think about meditation? Time spent in meditation. Why? Why don't we use the same metrics how do we why, why don't we use reps and sets in meditation also because what happens when you use this when you use this analogy that i'm about to teach you then meditation becomes three times more effective i didn't lie to you in that title i meditated 10 minutes this morning in this way and the sort of mindfulness benefit is right now still there i'm still very mindful from that meditation and this meditation this meditation thing, this meditation practice, this meditation version that I'm doing is so effective. It's also a little bit more challenging and it's a little bit harder, but like in, in, in relation to how much more effective it is, it is a joke. It is a little bit harder. It's a little bit complicated. If you are literally this, if you literally have a disabled brain, it can be very complicated. I'm going to teach to you how to do it in just a second. Just wait for it. But the amount of benefits you have from it are like, like said, three times more. And it's maybe like double as, um, as challenging if you're stupid. And how you do this is you open the stopwatch on your iPhone or on your phone in general. And what you do is you start the stopwatch, you start meditating and you go as hard as you can. You're trying to make a high score. Right? You're trying to focus for as long as possible. And when you realized that you were unmindful, then you press on lap on this, on this stopwatch. And then you will have your time that you spend mindful down there. Right? You get distracted and then you realize, oh shit, I'm distracted. Boom. And then you can just subtract the time that you estimate you have been um, lost in thought. And then you can write down that number or you can just like make make like a make uh like like a number up after you calculate it like minus 20 seconds on every on every result just broadly spreading that out that's the way i do it you can be very specific about this but i don't think it has any use this way right you're you're stopping the time and then you're spending like one minute writing everything down i think it's way more effective just after the meditation thinking how much time did i on average spend on every on every try um to like like being distracted and then subtract that number. For me, it's always 20 seconds. I always um, put 20 seconds away from each result. And then you write all of these numbers on your phone, right? You have all of them then in the list. And then you go to your calculator, you add all the numbers on top of each other. So if you have one minute and, one minute and 30 and one minute and 20, that will then be two minutes and 50 seconds. And then you, then you, then you divide that by the number of results you had. So if you meditated for 30 minutes, and you had 10 tries, right? 10 laps, 10 times you pressed lap, 10 times you were distracted. And then you have, I don't know, 
30 minutes, 10 times you got distracted, then your average time that you spend mindful is three minutes roughly. And then you calculate this and then you see, okay, this is how much I did today. This is how high my sort of weight was today. And then you can say, okay, tomorrow I want to go for three minutes and 10 seconds, three minutes and 15 seconds, three minutes and 30 seconds. And this will then push you to be, okay, I'm really going to focus on this try. I'm really going to give this set of meditation all of me. And just this competition that you will have with yourself, you can even, you can even invite a buddy with this. I, I haven't tried it with a buddy yet because none of my friends meditate. Um, but if you try this with a friend, if you want a friend on board, I'm certain it, it will be even more effective because then you will have this, this competition of, oh, uh, this guy had a better result than me. Fuck, I need to meditate better. I need to meditate harder, right? And, and you think this will make you toxic, but it won't at all. It won't at all. It will just make you more competitive and therefore better because competition is good. This has been brainwashed out of us, but I do think that putting competition onto any habit that you want to will make the habit better. If you have a competition with a little sister who can brush your teeth better, you will brush your teeth three times a day for three minutes and you will brush them longer than her and you will brush them better than her. Competition can be added to any habit and it will make the habit better. I trusted that many, many times and I never got disappointed by this analogy of add competition, add competition, make more competition out of it. Just a little mantra that I want to give you, just a little um, mindful phrase, just a little proverb that I want to give you on the way of meditation. Why would you think about anything other than your breath right now? Could you work on that business idea right now? Or is it better for you to just pull through this meditation method and just meditate? If you have something that is distracting you, is it something important? Is it more important than focusing on your breath? And just see it as relief from stress. When I stopped seeing meditation as a burden and started seeing it as, oh cool, finally I can be without thought. Finally I can just focus on my breath. And this comes with doing hard things. If you do hard things, if you do mentally demanding tasks, your meditation will get better, your sleep will get better, and your whole life will get better. Trust me. Do tasks that demand your mental attention to them. Pay attention to the world. And then when you pay attention to the world and when you do all these hard things, meditation will become easy. Because in relation to what you're used to do, meditation will then be like the, the, the small habit, the easy habit, the thing where you say, oh, well, finally, I can just focus on my breath and I will make progress. So be grateful for meditation. I hope this video helped you. If it did, you can subscribe to my channel. I post daily, if not twice a day. If I feel like it, if I, feel like it I post twice a day. Um, if I don't feel like it, I, pace, I post once a day. Uh, but at least once a day, there will be a daily video up, just like this one, a video that doesn't waste your fucking time. I've just explained a meditation method that will maybe save your life <laughs> from hating meditation all your life long in just under nine minutes. So have a nice day. Master your mind. And by the way, just <laughs> after the outro, if you have any question regarding this meditation protocol, you can just write a comment. Comments are always welcome. I always love to answer comments, really. When I'm, watch when I'm looking at a video, I'm not looking at the views. I just love to see people ask me questions because I love this. When people like trust me as much as someone who asks you a question does. So if you have any question to anything on self-improvement, literally anything, chances are I'm going to be able to answer it in less than a day. Okay, so have a nice day and master your mind.